Hello everyone, it's Tyler the Rustic Nerd Dad here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Ministry of Masks, the Batman Cowl. So, to preface this, I did get this from Mercari secondhand. I didn't get it directly from the Ministry of Masks, but you can typically get this cowl from them on eBay or their website. I'll have links below so you guys can always take a look. But anyways, so this cowl is cast in latex. Um, I have a 22 and a half inch head and it fits me almost perfectly. So bigger than that, I wouldn't really recommend. Um, but I'm gonna show the detailing on this thing. It actually looks quite nice, has a really, really nice profile to it. Um, my understanding is that the Ministry of Masks is just finished producing. A newer version with damage on it but with the latex cast you can see that the detailing is pretty decent but it is kind of lost like it's not mega mega clean um, like typical urethane casts I don't know if it's their master or their mold or what have you but nonetheless it is still a nice looking cowl now, the back has a hook and loop enclosure and does have a split up the back, which does make it a little easier to get on and off. And again, it has a really nice eye hole situation going on. Now, again, talking about the cast. So under the eyebrow there, you can see it's a little bit on the rough side. I don't know if it's just the specific cast or, you know, the mold is seen better days already um but overall the detailing for a latex cast is quite nice and it really surprised me when it came in came in i was expecting it to be not as good as the pictures and i think with a little bit of dry brushing it could be as good as the pictures and be a reasonable cowl um, the price is usually about 200 usd plus shipping I don't know how much the new version is going to be, but that's how much this one has been. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put this on and we'll see what it looks like on a 22 and a half inch head. All right, here we go. So we've got the cowl on. Um, at first glance, it's like, oh man, that looks like a really good fit. And it really is up, up here. So basically from here up, it fits amazingly. Down here is where it gets interesting. So... I can easily run my finger all the way down. Um, a little bit of padding could fix that, um, or I could do what a lot of other people have been doing with this specific design of cowl, which is more accurate to the movie anyway. Cutting this section out, this, uh, the center section out, and then basically putting Velcro in so I can lift it up to my chin, which I think I will do with this cowl. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised. Um, you can see my sideburns though, but I can always, you know, make my sideburns a hair, sideburn, sorry, a hair shorter. But yeah, it has a really, really nice profile. I was very pleasantly surprised with this. Um, having an alternate, like having a neck guard, I think will make it look quite nicely. I think this will be a nice backup cowl for me. There's a bit of a dent there. I don't know if that's from it shipping. Um, I'll have to try to fix that but yeah it looks pretty decent um again for around you know 200 usd plus shipping um that's a fanatic fx back there with the neck one of the neck guards on it it's not the full but um i will be doing a comparison video comparing all the cowls i've gotten so far of the batman style and comparing them so stay tuned for that but overall, even though the neck is open, I was pleasantly surprised, and I really, really enjoy this, this cowl. So great work to the Ministry of Masks for their work on a latex version of the cowl. The ears are pretty great. I might try to do something just to straighten them, like, ever so slightly. Um, I don't know yet. I don't want to mess up too much. But besides this right here, I... It's pretty well near perfect for a latex mask. So 
Great job, Ministry of Masks. Again, if you're allergic to latex, I don't recommend you getting one. But uh, definitely stay tuned for the comparison video. So again, this is the Batman latex cowl from the Ministry of Masks. Around 200 USD plus shipping. You can find them on their website or eBay. Links down below. And uh, stay tuned for the comparison video where I compare all of the, the cowls I've gotten of the Batman style so far, the pros and cons uh, from my personal opinion. So don't forget to like, follow, share, and subscribe as some of these cowls will actually be given away for free once we reach 1,000 subscribers. So thanks everyone and catch y'all again soon.